You know what? There are some people out there that are not thinking with a full dick. If you defund police, you are basically taking the livelihood of those police officers and putting them at risk. Their families themselves will not be able to support them. They'll have to go out and get another job. So, and there are a lot of them that are not uh, brutal in their tactics, how to detain suspects or those being arrested. So, you just put that up to, um, you just put their lives to gamble. You know, with no care and no concern at all. I understand there needs to be reform. If any police officer goes out there and detains her or put somebody under arrest, what have you, in an unlawful way to hurt them and cause death, that officer needs to be arrested and put in jail and have a fair court hearing and let the law determine his or her fate. That's all there is to it. That's why we have law and order. But you can't say, well, let's just take all the money and let's just put it towards education so these things won't happen. You are out of your minds. You are crazy to even think that's going to happen because it won't. There will be people out there who want to rob a bank. You think, oh, well, I think I'm robbing a bank today. What do you feel about it, Joe? Oh, because there's so much education placed on it. I, I, mm, I don't know. Should I? Is there more money in to not rob a bank than there is to rob a bank? Mm, I don't know. Or what about somebody abusing their wife? Or the wife abusing their husband? Which is, you know, I don't hear about a bunch of that, but... A lot of places you do. What about child abuse? Pedophilia. Petty larceny. Petty theft. Jack in the car. Stealing this from that from a store. You take away the police. Don't think for one minute that those crimes will increase because they will. Oh, uh, they have studies where the police weren't as proactive. Mm -hmm. There were 100 some odd less, whatever it was. That might be in certain areas, but that's not everywhere. Because if you defund the police, what's going to stop with the state police, the state law enforcement divisions? Why not stop there? Why not uh, the federal, CIA, FBI, all the rest of them? You know, don't stop there, right? What about the National Guard? What about the military service in general? Servicemen and servicewomen. Because even though they protect us, they provide law and order here. They provide law and order here in, the, in our country, domestic. So there'll just be chaos and anarchy. And we'll have to pray to God that we have a militia, as it talks about in the Constitution, a well trained, regulated militia to protect us instead of police or any other. We'll have to rely on other people with guns. Might not have all the training in the world to protect us. And some of them do have training, and that's good. But they're smaller, you know. And they're probably a little few and far between. I'm, I'm sure if called upon, they will in a heart. They're Minutemen, you know. Just like we had in the Revolutionary War. They're Minutemen, and the minutes noticed. Minutemen. But, uh, yeah, so to do that... You might as well shoot yourself in the foot because of all the things that happened with George Floyd and all the other ones. Um, yeah, I, I don't like see, I don't like getting on YouTube or any other TikTok or whatever else or <clears throat> an officer push down an elderly gentleman or taking a woman by the head and sling her to the ground. There's no reason for that whatsoever. Especially if they're unarmed. And therefore, those people need to be arrested and they need to be tried. Whatever the crime is they've done to the person is what they should they themselves have to um, endure themselves because of what they did. And that's just a cold, hard, plain, simple fact of the matter. They need to 
experience what they are uh, doing or whatever they claim the person was doing, but they are abusing that person, then they need to go to jail themselves. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I didn't get it out. They need to go to jail. They need to sit in the hooshkow for a while and think about what they did as an officer doing their job the wrong way. Okay, so there, there's no doubt about that. And they are places, they are departments that are doing that. So, but to cut it all off and say, well, you didn't treat us right here and there, and there are a few bad apples. Yeah, we know that, but uh, we need to get all the police disbanded because of your few bad apples. Hmm. Yeah, you're not going to benefit from the ones that are not the bad apples, are you? Because you're cutting them off. You, you just as well shoot yourself in the foot. You, you're depriving yourself of true protection. You really are. To do that. Minneapolis, if you do that, I don't see how Minneapolis can be a city anymore. Or even Minnesota can be a state. Whenever they defund the police. We need our police. We need protection. Because God himself has said it in the ordination that there would be a revenger. That the, you would fear the government in this case when you do wrong. Because it's God's will that people would always do right. But they're not Not everybody's going to do right because we're all sin sick people. Now if you're a Christian, you're on the right path. right? But there are a lot of people who aren't Christians. And this, this is supposed to be a Christian nation, but a lot of people they don't like hearing that. But if you go out here and cause... Uh, uh, violence and stuff you should be afraid and not be like well I'll just call so and so I maybe I shouldn't have done that I'll just you know do there's a lot of money in education now I'll just call Joe so I'll call, I'll call the hotline and see if I can get some help but maybe next week I'll no, I might do it I might not I don't know I think about abusing my wife or you know are stealing a little bit of money from somebody. They're not going to do anything to me. Well, I don't know. It's all good in the air. Right? Yeah. With law enforcement, when you go out there and do it and they catch you, you're going to go to jail. And the same thing is what they do to you. If you go out here and you're just minding your business and you get beat up by the law, they're going to go to jail. Or they should. Yeah. Reform. Sure. Positively. We need it badly. Under the police... Every man will do what is right in his own eye. Can you imagine a government, so-called government like that, or people living like that? No, we can't live that way. There's just no way. Man cannot govern himself in that way without law. That's why God put it on this earth. We need law enforcement to, to, to punish those who do bad and to praise those who do good. That's what the government is for, to to rule the people, the people ruling themselves uh, in a law and order type of way, in a fashion of justice and mercy and grace. And we can't have that whenever um, there's no police enforcing the rules and laws that protect our, our nations, our cities, our towns, and our um, government. So it's foolish to even bring that up. To defund the police. Why not stop there? Federal. State. Local. Can you imagine. A nation without law enforcement. 